Hello, my name is William and in this video I'm going to show you how to publish dashboards to GitHub pages using a tool called Dash Builder. And I will add on this video description a link to a article that explains what I'm doing here. But basically we have this GitHub project and it contains a npm project that handles dash build files and makes it easier to deploy so the first thing to do is to go to this uh, project and then click on use this template and then on create a new repo store i will create it if i think this name is good uh, let me create our brains. Yeah. So when you create your repo store, you need to check also if GitHub page is enabled. So let's go to the settings. Let's go to pages and see it is uh, with GitHub page enabled. So now you can edit the files from the project and it will be automatically deployed to GitHub pages, okay? And also uh, the workflow will be ready. So you can see that it's running the workflow and from a few minutes, Dash Builder uh, should be published with a sample dashboard on GitHub pages. So you can see here it's deploying to GitHub pages. Let's wait. It usually takes one minute to deploy. So yeah, so it, it's done and it's available here on my GitHub page. So yeah, so you may want to edit this dashboard to create your own. And one good tool to do that is Service Logic Web Tools. And I will show how to use your repo store inside servers, serverless logic web tools. So we, we go back to our project, select it, go to code, copy the URL to clone it, go to servers logic web tools. But before cloning the project, you need to make sure that you, you are signing with GitHub from here. So if you click on that button, we will be um this this window will be displayed and it will describe how to integrate with github it's just one step actually you just have to copy your token and uh, create a token and pass here and you'll be able to edit your github repo stores from servers serverless logic web tools so let me copy the project url here it will clone my project to the servers, serverless logic web tools. And we can, you can see here that I have my dashboard. So let's make some changes. For example, this HTML here is not required anymore. So let's remove it. And also we don't have to specify the columns because the columns from this data set is already you know, ready to be uh, used on a bar chart. Let me add the title. I don't know, just some title. And let me add another interesting thing here. Let me add a, for example, a pie chart. So, so we made some changes. We had a pie chart and, and modified the bar chart. We can, we could, for example, remove the dark mode if we wanted. Let's keep it for now. So yeah, so now that we made this change we can go to sync and push the change back to github so it push the change to github and if we if we go back to the repo store we refresh we can see that the change from service logic web tools are now here on our repo store and it triggered the job so if we go to actions 
if we check here you can see that the build is running and once the build is done it will publish uh, the change to github page so this dashboard will be updated so it takes like one minute so let's just wait okay so the chains are now ready let's open here and the reason why you don't see the change is because I have a local cache so let me open this in a incognito tab because then we don't have any cache so, yeah, so you can see here that the chains I made are now available on um, on our page soon this will also be updated okay so uh, one other way to edit your project is open on VS Code and you can open on VS Code in the web or also in desktop let's try the desktop click here then it asks you where you want to save the project I'm saving here locally and yeah, so I have here the the same project that we have in the web I have also here and on VS Code you can use dash builder extension so just look for it in the market and if you have the dash builder extension when you open some of the dash build dashboards you have the option to render the dashboard inside VS Code so the same dashboard that you see in the web that you see in the github page will also be rendered inside the VS Code so let's make some changes here for example let's add now a table with the data so we just add a table here let's also add a big title to this page actually I don't like this table so let me use another one this table looks better let's also add a HTML title And everything you see I'm typing here, it's on, on our YML guide, which link I will also let on the description. So yeah, so add a title here. Let me save. Let me open the terminal. So you use git to see the changes. Here we can see all the changes that we made. Just so much because it, it does not. Okay, so these are all the changes we made. Let me commit the changes locally. Oh. I forgot to add the file. Okay, so I add the change to my local index. Now let me push push this change to GitHub. So now these same changes are going uh, are now in GitHub. So we can also update this chart here um, by using sync again and pulling the changes. So wait a second. So you can see here that the changes that we made on VS Code are now here in the web as well. And we can continue working like this, just, you know, we can have developers that want to create the dashboard from this web tool and others that want from desktop and they can collaborate no matter where they are editing the dashboards. And finally, if we go to, uh, to the project, we can see our local changes from VS Code are also here. You can see the comment that I just made. 
and if we go to actions we can see that it triggered another deployment for the dashboard so the build is finishing and soon it will be deployed so let's just wait okay it's deployed so if we copy this open another incognito tab go to the dashboard we can see here that the same dashboard that we edited in different parts is here that's all thanks for watching and i hope